Okay, here's the Yaesu System Fusion uh, Wires X Mobile setup I have uh, with the 400. I'm running Windows 10 on the Intel uh, Compute Stick, and then I use a little keyboard and a cheap uh, LCD display that I got off of Amazon. The rest of the setup is under here. And probably not a good thing, but I got them just floating around. There's the Wires X HRI 200 that is connected to the radio and to the, com the compute stick via a USB cable that runs through the dash, under the dash, up the A-arm or pillar um, to the uh, compute stick, to a, actually a hub. I have a four port hub up there and then to the compute stick. The, what else do I got? I don't think the radio's connected, USB. But I got a long extension there. Um, and then to, I got the compute stick, well it's not on now, connected to my mobile hotspot, which is through AT&T. If I can get it to turn on here. Right now it's connected to the Wi-Fi at the house. I'm just turning it on now. Wi-Fi at the house. See if I can do this. And show you. I got a little. Yeah, I'm connected to the house. The house is Mordor. Um, and then my well, hotspot will be my call sign whenever that comes up. I can connect to that and how I get through the port situation on that is I use Viper VPN VYPR VPN uh, you do have to pay for it it's I don't know what it is a hundred dollars a year or something like that and you can put it on multiple devices if you want if you wish um, but that's how I get the ports to open up let's try and get the uh, bear with me here Try and get the mobile. There it is. Try and get connected to that. Now I'll connect to my hotspot. Connect. And then. Uh, okay, so now we're connected. Secured. But now this should. Viper VPN, I don't know if it's connected. Let's get rid of this so we can see. Okay. Let's see where my mouse is. It still says it's online. I don't know if it made that transition like that. Let's click on, uh, what is it, tools, port check. Let's see if they're, they are, no good. You can see they're pink. Um, the resolution of the monitor is not that great. <clears throat> so we'll hit start, see if that works. I don't have to do this every time. I'm just doing this for demonstration, but it's not working. So it normally does this automatically if I leave my uh, Wi Fi at home and I turn on my hotspot, it'll usually automatically reconnect through this and work of course now I'm trying to make a video so it might not see now it connected through Viper VPN um, now what I do port check again is that what this is over here yeah so I said start there see the ports are open now if I can focus there the ports are open and to make sure we're still on my mobile hotspot, I'm going to click on that. Whoop, whoop. We're still connected to that. I just connected to this. 
right there. And it works pretty good. Here's the HT. Sorry about the video, I'm just trying to... Turn that on, hit the X. Should connect, I hope. There we go. And I usually connect to the America link. And now we're connected. I usually leave my system on all the time. And when I go to work, it connects to my Wi-Fi at work. And when I come home, it connects to my Wi-Fi at home. And in between, connects to the hotspot on the road. And I think the reason it changes automatically is if I drive away from my Wi-Fi at home and then turn on the hotspot. I think when Viper VPN uh, disconnects, uh, when you have no Wi-Fi, um, that's how I get it to, to do it automatically without having to do all this resetting while I, I go. Because uh, if I turn on the Wi-Fi on the hotspot while I'm connected at home, then it doesn't really transition by itself. And i got to disconnect and reconnect with Viper VPN to make that connection. 